Hey guys, Fitness Devolution, day three of hopping and flopping. Scott's joined us today as well as Lisa, and we're going to do some Hindu squats, dynamic sit ups, push ups, going to the ground, and we're going to play with some crawling. Uh, this is new for Scott and Lisa, and still pretty new for me, uh, even though I'm getting better, as you'll see. Um, we're doing a deep squat, Hindu squat straight into push-ups and this is speeded up by the way we have not gotten uh, this quite this agile uh, otherwise this would have been uh, almost 30 minutes of flopping around and uh, nobody wants to see that twice in a row anyway so here we go with push-ups we're going to very quickly uh, transition into the flopping and I'm going to do a little explanation here uh, to kind of uh, brief Scott and Lisa once we finish the push-ups. Sit-ups, yeah. Um, what we're working towards here is eventually being able to do what's called a rock chair, which is where you, so you stand for a deck squat. You stand, you go down, and then you get back to your feet. But we're going to start like this. Legs up. If I can do it, should I do it? You can. 20 in there? 20, yeah. That was two. So here we go, and uh, Scott's a natural at this. Uh, Scott's about 30 years old, I think, so he's uh, he still has pretty good hip mobility and ankle mobility, he's just uh, banging these out. Uh, I'm pretty stiff still. Uh, just a little bit right here. Oh, I'm so stop counting. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now we're gonna do our little uh, squat mobility thing. Uh, we do 10 on the side, so one, two, so now we're doing some uh, knee down, uh, hip and leg flexibility things. Um, this is getting a little easier too. Uh, it used to just be so painful it was not even funny. And uh, now we're I'm showing Scott the uh, a switch to sitting on your foot. Uh, not that I can really do it, he can do it. Um, I'm getting better. Uh, the mobility is coming in slowly. Now we're going to play with a little serious flop in here, um, doing some some rolls. You want to stay in control and not uh, not crash around too much. Go slow, stay down low. You don't want things flopping around in the air. We're doing some shin box switches. I think we did 10 of these. Little shin box walk. Very, very challenging. Now we're doing going to the ground. We're going to the ground uh, without using your hands. And come back up and try as many different ways as you can think of. Looks pretty funny. Now I guess I can get up. <laughs> from here, uh, now from here, without using your hands, try to draw yourself in, and then come up to your knees. Done. So, go, go back down from here, no hands. Okay. Good. Good. 
actually feeling pretty confident with that pistol that you see. Now for the hopping. Scott's gonna and Lisa are gonna go first. Neither one of them have done the hop before. This is the first time, and Scott is a natural hopper. This is where I died the first couple times, but I'm still moving somehow. <laughs> now Scott's thinking he's just going to show off and do his thing here. Uh-oh, not as easy as he thought. Is he done? Finish, finish. Oh, he's gonna... Finish. So not to be outdone, here I go. That's the equivalent of a flip turn, by the way, in hopping. So last but not least, we're going to play around with a little bit of crawling. This is not pretty or not good or not any strict form. We're just experimenting with the, uh, the movement, the doing. Crawling front and back. Back is surprisingly hard. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick video. I tried to shorten it as much as I could. And as always, get moving.